today we are going to make cavitation bubbles. And our today's quest is David from Tesla 500 channel and he has made the machine that does everything. So you can probably explain what it does. Yes, yeah, so we've got a uh, 2000 microfarad capacitor bank that will create an electrical discharge underwater. This will create a bubble uh, of steam that expands and vacuum will then collapse it back to create very high pressures. So it's a bit, it's bit like underwater explosion without, but without all the like smoke and dirty stuff. So it's like better view to into action. Yeah, we'll have a few sparks, a little bit of uh, copper vapor, but it'll be a pretty clear view. Yeah. So here is the David's thing and we have a couple more of those also but I think this is probably enough. Yeah, this is half the caps we have. We figure we'll start with half of them. If we need more power we'll, we'll uh, add more. It's pretty simple. It just takes mains power, rectifies it uh, and uses that to charge the capacitors to a little bit over 300 volts. And then up here there's the biggest switch we could buy which <laughs> seems to be holding. It doesn't get welded and that will just switch the capacitors onto a little piece of wire. You see up here, there's a little tiny bit of wire between these two large wires, and that's what we're going to vaporize. And now somebody should be here and turn this, but that might break the glass. So I may upgrade the David's machine. I think, I think it's pretty clear to see where my start. My stuff starts. <laughs> this is like Lauri Tech, and that's David Tech. Safety stick, five million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really cool. I might add even upgrades to get like rubber gloves to have some insulation, but it wouldn't be a problem. Yeah, really cool. I think we are ready to go. We're going to charge the capacitors. Give them about 10 20 seconds. And at first, it, we measured it, and first it rise quite fast and then slow. Mm -hmm. and, and Wait for full charge. That should be enough. Okay, three, two, one. That was super fast. What? I didn't see anything. Okay, so here we go. Hope that's not way too bright. Start from there. Oh, it blew up at both ends. That's that is, interesting. That was small. I think we need yeah. to add more. I think we need to use a bigger wire. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that was too small of a wire. And um, it did very effectively clean all the bubbles off the yeah. side of the container. But how about adding more cap caps there? Yeah, we can add more caps and use thicker wire. Yeah, let yeah. Yeah, yeah let's do that. Yeah. Yes, and we are ready for the next shot, and now we have double the energy, and did you put also the thicker wire? Yes, thicker wire, electrodes closer together, and double the capacitors. Yeah, and I'm going to drop some red color in it, so we can see how the water moves. And first thing is to put the lights on. Firing, three, two, one. That was much more. Yes, definitely much more. Yeah. I think the whole thing jumped. Yeah. I saw that, yeah. Yeah. So here we go with the more power and some color. Color looks nice. I think it's a bit too far. That's weird. Yeah, it's like it's coming up radially. Yeah. It should have been bigger. Maybe I needed to use more uh, thicker wire. Yeah, because I saw after that that uh, one of the electrodes made like bubbles. There was still some voltage mm, left. Yes. Yeah, I noticed that too. So I think even thicker wire is needed. Yeah. Thicker line should use all the power in, the, like tapping the thing and not bubbling afterwards so much. So I'm going to put these on. Are we okay? Yep. Two, one. Yes, so third try. Let's see how it goes this time. Bigser is really good again. Awesome. Really weird. It's like there's two, two, two of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just spread equally over both sides. Yeah. It exploded at the connection point. Yeah. I think the second one was the best. 
Yeah, I think so. I think there's no point going fast. It's already taking like it's like two seconds the bluish color thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oi. I think that worked. But it's impossible to say before we see the footage, so let's see. Okay, and then we tested a bit different setup. So we had the wire <laughs> on hand. Don't worry, it was completely safe. And then we had like uh, two pretty thick wires that were in cross formation. So there is clear point where the bubble should form. And it forms quite nicely as you see here. Now there is like good bubble of steam. And now when it starts to cool down, it should like do the cavitation thing where it bounces back and forward with really high pressure on the uh, point when it's the smallest. So right here. And uh, now it's going to get again larger, but for some reason there was quite a lot of like soot or some kind of stuff on the bubble so it wasn't super nice but this clearly works so we are going to now test the same thing on the glass bowl okay let's unplug Töpseli irti three two one that <laughs> was pretty loud mm -hmm. yeah and i think that may well do the switch yeah so probably good and now the uh, lines are so broke. Last mm. time those welded. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's much more energetic. Yeah. Interesting. Let's see that. I think this was the last shot because now that is broken. That was actually pretty expensive, like 40 euros. Yeah. So uh, like 20 euros a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, so this time in the glass. Holy shit, it's nice there. It looks like some kind of like. I think when we can do some like uh, fake cold fuse and stuff with yeah. this footage. Oh, and we get a bit of unintended HDR with the reflection above. Yeah, that's true. I think the uh, collapse with the other oh, reel. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, it ends up that. You need uh, all the capacitors in the store <laughs> and make it like cross the line. Yeah. yeah, it's like I think it's a bit similar than on the coast pass. Mm -hmm. If you cross the lines, it's it's going to break also. <laughs> so they knew what they were talking about on that show. Yeah, but I think that is all for today. Thanks for watching and have a nice day. And for today's extra content, we have our new mobile game. It's a sequel for the. Hydraulic press pocket, so crushing stuff on the game and managing your own social media stuff. So it's a bit like simulator of our work. If you liked the first game, this is like just improved version of that, more to do, better graphics. And the game is not out yet, but we have open beta, so there is link on description, you can test the game. And if you could give some feedback to us about the game, that would help a lot. So go check it out.